everyone, it's Desiree. We are going to make a rainbow with a thank you. Today I am featuring the Feather Trio die and Thank You Fine Script die from Paper Rose, along with their 6x6 cracked stencil. Now, this is a 6x6 stencil, like I just said, and I'm going to be creating a slimline card. Now, this slimline is going to measure 4x9. But just because it's a six by six stencil does not mean that we cannot use it on our slim lines. What I suggest and the way that I use them is use them sporadically. Don't, you can use the whole image as long as you can match it up. This one, not so much. And even still, I really didn't match it up, but I just used it in areas just to give a faint background to my white panel. This panel here was cut to be three and three quarters by eight and three quarters. And then my black mat was cut to be four by nine. Now I set this down onto my slimline base just a little bit off. So I'm just gonna use my long shears to trim that up and no one will know, no one measures our cards. I dug into my scraps. I am digging into my scraps and loving every minute of it and just chose a rainbow color scheme. So a red, an orange, a yellow, a green. I went with an aqua instead of a blue, saying that in quotes like you can see me, and a purple. I'm going to glue these down onto my panel. They are going to overhang. I like that. Um, I like that look. If you don't, that's fine. When you put your feathers down onto your base, then you could just trim off the sides if you like. Again, create your art the way that you like it, but take the techniques that I'm using and apply it to what you already have or what you want to create with. These ideas or techniques can be applied to anything. These dies are a great size. Um, so they filled up this four by nine slim line perfectly. And boy, it seems like every time I do a voiceover, there is an ambulance or a fire truck going by. So I do apologize if you hear that. And my windows are closed. So I do apologize. I'm taking the thank you script and I've die cut it. I've die cut the word thank you twice. And then I also die cut the cloud, I call it a cloud, the shadow, what, however you want to call that, twice as well, just to give that a little bit more stability and more dimension. Uh, the die cuts, even though I did not double layer them or triple layer them, they have beautiful dimension because I really only put glue down the center of them and a little bit on the side. Once my sentiment is layered, I also took one of the feathers and die cut it from black cardstock. You don't need to do that, but I thought it really looked great with the sentiment going up along that curve of one of the feathers. So I'm going to attach the sentiment first, and then I will put that on my card. And since it's curving up, I thought it looked really great in the bottom right hand corner of the card. It's like a, a bigger shadow or bigger cloud for the sentiment. I'm going to come in with my iridescent sequins and just add them all throughout onto the feathers, onto the background, and then just have fun placing all of the different sizes throughout this card. What I'm using is a wax pencil. It's actually something in the nail art industry. Um, to pick up my sequins and get them in place. I hope you enjoyed today's project uh, featuring the Feather Trio die set by Paper Rose. As always, the products that I used will be listed down below. And if you have any questions, leave those down below and we'll make sure somebody gets back to you as soon as we can. Enjoy your day. Have fun creating your art. And I hope you use some of the techniques and tips and tricks that I showed you here today. But always remember what's most important. Always be creative and I will talk to you 
in the next one. Till then. <laughs>